Okay, so we're back and we're looking at this question again. But now we're going to look at it a bit more mathematically. Uh, perhaps that may help understand what's going on. So at the very beginning, we have this vehicle, this truck, and it's moving at 10 meters per second, and it has no rain inside of the truck yet. So considering there's no rain inside of the truck, the rain doesn't affect the momentum of the truck yet. So when we do P before, and we do mass times velocity, we're only focusing in on the mass of the truck here. And I'm gonna make up a mass just for our purposes. I'm gonna say it's 2,000 kilograms. And then V here is 10. That's our whole situation for the momentum before. Now we're ready to talk about the momentum after. The momentum after, we have the truck with the rain inside of the bed. So let's say that the truck becomes heavier by 10 kilograms. So the mass is now increased by 10. That's the mass of the water. And we don't know this new velocity. That's my new equation set up. I can solve from here. When I do solve, I get that the velocity, our new velocity, our velocity after, is equal to 9.95 meters per second. So the car is traveling a bit slower, or the system's traveling a bit slower. From what we know about momentum, momentum's always conserved. Momentum before equals momentum after. So the momentum of the system has to be the same. It never changes. Momentum is conserved. So momentum is the same. It can't change. But the velocity has decreased. And since the velocity has decreased, Ke, energy related to motion, has to have decreased. Hopefully that helps.